All right, folks, howdy. So I must say that I am feeling pretty stoked right now. After we got off the Bishop Pass Trail, we looked up passes for the Mount Whitney day permit system. And it turned out that there were two permits available. We're gonna camp tonight and tomorrow we are hiking up the Mount Whitney Trail, the tallest peak in the lower 48. Don't know how far we're gonna get. Stick around, should be a good one. It is time for an evening beverage. The buttermilk. Give it a little mix with your finger and take a sip. I feel like that mountain. We are cooking up some rice orzo pilaf with some shredded rotisserie chicken. It's time to put in the mushrooms. And if you weren't aware, mushrooms have a special healing power. <laughs> Let's put some cracked pepper on there. Mmm, mushrooms, rice orzo, pilaf, and chicken. Bacock! <laughs> That's gonna taste really good. So we're looking at like five or so, maybe six. Stellar's J. Two of the tree down here. Make that raspy. One of my favorite parts of summertime camping is seeing bats flittering in the dusky sky. There's something very primordial in seeing their emergence each year with the warmer weather and longer days. All right, good morning. We are here at the Mount Whitney Trailhead and we are gonna head up the trail. But first, let's take a look at that permit. Can you go ahead and sign it? In recent years, Mount Whitney has become overrun by hikers leaving feces in areas around the trail. Poorly hidden, under rocks, and toilet paper everywhere. So as a courtesy, the National Forest Service offers these free wag bags for anyone visiting the area. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh my backpack. It's mostly water weight. It's nice to know how much I'm carrying. I'm at about 14.2 pounds or so. All right, good morning. We are on the trail. It's about 70 degrees and we are in the sun, at least for the first portion. Um, the higher we go, the cooler it's gonna get. I think uh, the trailhead here is about 8,000 feet. And so we are steadily climbing, probably make it up to uh, Hopefully a consultation lake or something like that today. I've heard that the entire hike, depending upon how fast you go, could take upwards of 12 to 15 hours. Our hike will probably take far less, but it should be beautiful. We're looking forward to some of these gorgeous views. The higher we go, the better they get. We've got our first creek crossing here. You can see the sign for the North Fork goes up that way. That's the mountaineering route. We're taking the foot trail route. Nice. All right, so for like the 10th time this trip, we are back in the John Muir wilderness. Stoked as can be. So we have our first city grouse sighting right here. They make these really cool low Humping sounds. It also squawks like a chicken.
Lone Pine Creek crossing number two. This one's a little bit more fun. So we are just about at 10,000 feet and down there through those trees is Lone Pine Lake. But we are going to mosey on into the Whitney Zone. Alright, we are entering the Whitney Zone. You need a special permit required for all hikers, not just the day hikers like us and overnighters. And look at how these views start. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached Bighorn Park. It is this beautiful meadow right here, where I guess on better days, you can maybe see a bighorn sheep frolicking somewhere in these cliffs. We'd be going up, not only up there, but then Whitney is beyond. But how beautiful is this? Creek crossing numero trace. That was an easy one. So creek crossing number four. Oh, she did it. Feeling pretty good. Looking forward to seeing what's beyond the ridge up there. All right, fifth creek crossing. This one has more stones. All right, so at 4.3 miles into the trail. We are at Mirror Lake right here. And this lake is at about 10,700 feet. So, feeling pretty good. Keep hiking. We are heading up somewhere around here to Consultation Lake. Very well. How are you guys doing? <sighs> yeah. So it's pretty big here, heading over that ridge. All right, we've gone about five miles now. We're just over 11,000 feet. And this is the view you get. you need to know about this trail is that there is no shade once you get past about five miles and if you're hiking in the middle of the day like we are what time is it like one 12 12 good luck finding a little respite from the ever watching eye of the sun that's all i gotta say bring sunscreen and wear long sleeve clothes all right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're about to pass the ridge, the saddle over to Consultation Lake. Check out this view. View of Consultation Lake there. Check out this waterfall. Absolutely incredible. You know, it's only been 5.7 miles, a few thousand feet of elevation gain, but it's not the distance for a guy like me, and it's not the elevation. 
it's the intensity of the massive granite walls all around you. There's definitely something spiritual if you can tap into it. Creek crossing number six. Under the watchful gaze of the Keeler Needle. Holy shite, is that pretty? A bird on the rock. We got a lingering snow patch. About 12,000 feet. There goes my lady. 12,000 feet and climbing. What a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous day hike. I feel so fortunate, lucky to have gotten the passes and to have the stamina and willpower to get up here and feel the power of these glorious peaks. look for some shade it is completely exposed out here and there is very little of that all right guys well we are at trail camp we have found a shady spot and we just had a picnic with a view for the Whitney crest this one right there is Mount Whitney about 2,000 500 feet from where we're at in elevation. The trail heads up this way. It goes basically on the back side of these peaks here and up there. So we're headed back down the trail, probably about three, three or four more miles. And we came across this lone grouse duckling, or whatever they're called when they're little. And we do not see the mother grouse around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our epic hike to trail camp just below Mount Whitney. And we are here at the Mount Whitney picnic area making some dinner. Tonight is chili with cheese, bell peppers, and, we're gonna, and some egg. And we're gonna dip some of that tasty sheep herder and what is this kind of bread? Jalapeno cheese bread. Jalapeno cheese bread into that sauce so 
What a great way to end the trip. We are gonna go get cleaned up after this at the Best Western Lone Pine. And this is how we do dinner at the end of an epic hike. Thanks for joining us on all of these episodes of Artistic Off-Road. Hope to see you again on the next adventure.